Hi and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the new Blend Smart brush that I got at Sephora. I didn't buy any additional heads, I just am going to use the one that came with it. But if you want to see how I did my makeup with this new brush, then just keep on watching. So I'm going to go ahead and prime with my Hourglass Veil Primer. Okay, so with this Blend Smart brush, it says less makeup, natural looking results. Start with half of the amount of makeup you normally use. You can always apply a little more. And so there's a couple of things in here that it says. It says if you're using liquid makeup, use one finger to apply one dot to each part of your face. So one on your forehead, on one cheek, your chin, your nose, and your other cheek. Best results do not apply in a circular motion. Let the brush do the work for you. Turn on the brush so the brush head starts to rotate. Start blending your makeup by holding the ergonomic handle and gliding it slowly across your face. Side, side to side and up and down. Light pressure until you use light pressure until your makeup is blended as desired. Okay. So I put the brush together. It comes in a, comes in a box just like this. Pretty big. And so I put it together. The brush, I don't know how to take it apart. So there's different brushes. This is the foundation one that came with it, but they make like a powder one and a couple others, but I just didn't want to go and buy a whole bunch. But it looks like a dual fiber brush, kind of like a stippling brush maybe. It's very soft. So I don't know, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the Smashbox. I'm gonna go in with the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Water, just because I usually have to use a lot of this in order to get the coverage I want. So this will show me if less product is what I need. I'm going to do one on my chin, one on my cheek, one on my other cheek, one on my nose, and one on my forehead. This is way less than what I would normally use for this particular foundation, but this is going to be hard because I'm always used to doing circular motion, so let's see. Huh. Okay, so I already started trying to do it in circular motion. So interesting feeling. Definitely feels like a bit cool. I guess not in circles again, you see. Very relaxing. Wow. Okay, I really did use the foundation, which is crazy. It's really hard to get used to this, not doing circular, because that's how I buff most of my stuff. Wow, so far it's really great. I kind of want to use it with concealer. It doesn't say to, but I'm just going to do it. First I'm going to put a under eye brightener to help with my bags underneath my eyes. I'm just using the Pixi Peach Concentrate from Target. I'm going to buff that in with a different brush just so I don't want to get that peach all over that brand new brush. Alright, so I'm going to go in with my Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer in Light Warm from Urban Decay and use that to see how the brush works. I don't even know if this is a thing, but I tried not to watch these videos, so I wanted to just be surprised when I used the brush. I didn't want to find out if it was, like, good or not very good. Okay, in hindsight, this probably wasn't a good idea under the eye because now it's like really getting all up in my lashes and my business kind of is irritating. Okay, 
I love the way it looks under my eyes, but that was like a really, that did not feel good. So I'm going to stick with like a beauty blender or brush for under my eyes, but I guess if you're going to like highlight with concealer, it would work great. I'm going to finish my makeup. I'll be back to let you know my final thoughts. All right, so I finished all my makeup except my blush, and now I'm thinking I want to use my um, airbrush blush, like a mist blush, with this brush. I know it's going to like change the color in here, but I'm sure I can clean this like a normal brush. So I'm going to try it. I'm going to take it. It's in the shade Such a Peach. It's from Sephora. I think I lost part of the clip, but I have some of the Sephora Mist Airbrush Blush. Oh my gosh, I love it for that. Alright, so my overall thoughts on this Blend Smart, I'm trying to see, it's by Worth Beauty, I've never heard of that. But this is from Sephora, and they do make other heads. Right now I think I would stick with the one I have, I don't think I'm ready to purchase the other ones. But I did use less foundation, which was one of the claims. It did blend it flawlessly. Like, my pores look invisible. And I didn't even use a pore, um, anything to blur or smooth my pores. So that's amazing. Tickled a little bit, but it, it, it wasn't, it didn't make me giggle or anything. But it was just a little interesting on the face. I definitely wouldn't use it underneath my eyes, but that was just, like, not a smart decision. I think I would use it to blend here, 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 and here with concealer, but obviously not under my eye. That was like a rough situation. But I mean, it worked out fine. I just wouldn't do that again. I love it for how smooth my blush is. Now I kind of am thinking I do want to try the other brush heads. I love this product. I'll definitely continue using it. And I'll update you if I get the other brushes. But overall, I give it two thumbs up. So definitely a great addition to my collection. My face just looks really smooth. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.